What is up YouTube? I'm Royal, I'm rank 1 Wild Rift and today we're gonna take a look inside my brain as I analyze my thought process in an early game scenario in one of my matches to give you a better understanding of my early game decision making and why I do certain things and how I gain these insane early game advantages. So I'm playing Jace versus Timo in a high low NA game. I think this game actually promoted me into master tier, which is the highest anyone has gotten this season so far since the season just reset. So this is a very high low game, right? The first thing I need to keep in mind is my matchup. I'm playing Jace versus Timo. So what do I know about this matchup, right? I know that I win both short and long trades. I know that Timo has low wave clear. And I also know that Timo is super easy to gank since he's, he doesn't really have a real escape. He has a speed up dash and an invisibility that doesn't really work that well. Now let's look at the jungle matchup. The enemy team has a Wukong, who since he's starting red buff and that's usually where junglers start, he's gonna be moving towards bot side. So I don't need to worry about Wukong on the first clear. What do I have? I have an Evelyn who's full clearing towards me. Meaning that when she gets to level five, she's either gonna be looking for a gank mid lane or top lane. Mid lane is really hard to gank because Fizz is a very hard to gank champion, right? So I'm predicting that Evelyn wants to set up a gank top lane and I can help her set up that gank since Teemo is a very easy champion to gank. So we're in this situation where we've both traded quite heavily, we've both lost our plants and now have a decision to make. As I push this wave, she kind of allows me to push this wave. Now I have a decision to make. I can either base or I can keep pushing this wave in and the ultimate goal would be to crash this next wave so then it can start shoving back into me and I can set up the gank that I was talking about. My other option is to base and it depends on what Timo does right here. So I begin my base just in case and I can see that Timo is immediately pushing the wave and this is the mistake that Timo makes and completely ruins his laning phase by all attacking these minions because now he no longer has the option to match my recall. Because once he's done this damage to these minions, right here, this is the biggest mistake, all attacking these minions. Because now that he's all attacked these minions, he can't base because the wave's gonna slow push into me. However, his wave clear is very, very bad since he's Teemo and he only has all attacks, right? He has no AoE spells. So he can't push this wave in time before the next wave and I arrive with it. So I'm gonna be completely healthy with an extra ruby, ruby crystal in my pocket while Timo has not yet recalled. And that's what's key, because right now I'm not gonna push this wave, right? I have no reason to push this wave now. I can just keep in my side of the lane and when he walks up, I can go for heavy trades against him. So we can see that Timo, he doesn't really know what to do in this situation, right? He's not able to push the next wave. He can crash into my turret. And at the same time, I'm able to get a freeze off. Keep in mind that Evelyn is about to hit her level 5, she's cleared all the camps required, all the 7 camps. And while Timo is now trying to poke me, he's not really sure where Evelyn is. I'm sure he has some knowledge that Evelyn must be topside too. But since I fro 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 froze this wave, there's nothing for him to do. He's gonna try and flash away from the incoming gank, but it's a little too late. And we're gonna be able to pick up a kill, and of course now I'm gonna be able to push out the wave. So the conclusion of that play, once I push out the wave, is that I get an 800 gold lead. Of course, it's going to become way smaller after he farms these minions. So after all is said and done, I have a 700 gold lead and my jungler was the one who actually got the kill, right? So now my Evelyn is snowballing and is way ahead of the Wukong because I set up a very nice gank for her. And of course, Timo is such a weak champion when playing from behind that this is an easy game going forward. Evelyn gets like a bunch of kills and we're able to win it. By all happened because of these early levels and the wave management that I did and the mistake that Timo did, right? Good players like me, we're not good because we just play the game better. We're good because we don't make these mistakes and we know how to punish these mistakes. So I don't want you guys to be in the comments like, oh, it's only because Timo started all attacking the wave. Yeah, but that happens in every ELA. I see sovereign players doing this and you guys are not punishing it, right? So in this video, hopefully I'm teaching you how to be able to punish these types of mistakes in the early game to gain these advantages, right? And even if Evelyn 
the jungler didn't help me with this play, which obviously would be bad on her end, but even if she didn't, I still have the massive advantage of being full HP, obviously he's only lost a bit of HP, but I also have a ruby crystal ahead of him and the wave frozen. So Timo is still in a deadlock, I also have ignite over him, right, he doesn't have his ignite yet, so he's still in a terrible position here, even if there was no jungle interference, right? But I'm still allowing my jungler the option to get a free kill top, but even if there's no jungle interference, it's really hard for Timo to play, and eventually what's gonna happen if Timo doesn't int here, just to give you another scenario, this whole wave is gonna slow push into him, and I'm gonna slow push with a massive wave. And if Wukong is not there to protect him, I'm gonna look for a dive. And even if I get a one for one and the turret kills me after, he's gonna miss all these minions under turret, right? Like this wave would slowly get slow pushed into him if he doesn't die here to the gank. So he's in a lose lose situation, and of course, it all started when he made this bad decision after I pushed the wave. What he should do here is recall immediately, that's the correct play for Teemo, but he doesn't recall, he auto attacks his minions, and what's worse is he doesn't even recall here where the wave would still be even, he goes on ahead to auto attack these minions, so that's the main mistake he made and that's what we punished with our game knowledge. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, it's a little different than my usual videos, however I wanted to give you some insights into what I'm thinking while I'm playing, and hopefully this will make you into better Wild Rift players. If you enjoyed little analysis videos like these, please leave a comment below telling me that yeah I enjoyed them so I can so I know to make more and try and teach you guys some more in-depth strategies going forward. Please leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more Wild Rift content.